Today, I have the pleasure and the honor to talk to Jonathan Moran. Jonathan, you are the global product marketer at SAS, and you have written recently an article about hybrid marketing. Can you explain in more detail what hybrid marketing is all about and why is it so important? Sure. Uh, thank you, first of all, for having me on, Ronald, today. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Hybrid marketing is a term that isn't necessarily new, but it's certainly important in today's global business environment. So hybrid marketing looks at how brands can merge traditional database marketing techniques like segmentation or campaign management against mail or catalog or even in-store channels uh, with digital marketing techniques like uh, remarketing, web personalization, and digital marketing automation over primarily digital channels, right? Web and social channels. It's the merging of these sometimes two separate disciplines that really lies at the foundation of hybrid marketing. You know, brands today are really having to reinvent their operating models, having to go so much more uh, heavy on digital, uh, and they need to do this in order to act in the moment. The hybrid marketing architecture that vendors like SaaS provides allows marketers to trade in these black box customer uh, marketing cloud solutions for flexible cloud-based and more intelligent marketing systems that offer greater access and control of data. So having a holistic data and technology strategy that allows you to individualize uh, at scale customer journey capabilities that can you know, be adapted in real time and use intelligent analytics to base your decisions on you know, factual data-driven insight, allow you know, brands to automate this self-reinforcing cycle of tailoring uh, experiences. And this is what organizations really need uh, in today's business environment. And combining on and offline marketing is what you're referring to in your article as well. It's what organizations talk about since the internet is there. Um, what are the most important challenges you see with organizations that they're facing and how can hybrid marketing help? Yeah, that's a great question, Ronald. So if you look at the top challenges that marketers in 2020 face, they are really focused on three main areas, right? They're focused on customer data management, which has long been a challenge, targeting and personalization, and then thirdly, the management of customer journeys. And interestingly enough, hybrid marketing helps to address and solve all three of these challenges. So let me talk about each one of these in a bit more detail. First off, customer data management. So managing customer data in a world of marketing complexity, uh, along with the necessary data privacy guidelines that come along with uh, data management has long been a challenge for marketers. And really what hybrid marketing does is it allows organizations to merge direct and digital uh, data into what's called a single unified customer data profile. And you can do this in a secure manner. So you know, gone are the days of having to lift and shift uh, data from digital applications into marketing clouds, creating oftentimes duplicate data repositories. Uh, with hybrid marketing, data can be addressed and accessed where it resides and then leveraged for downstream marketing use. With a hybrid customer data profile in place, opportunities for targeting and personalization then increase, right? Cross-channel insight becomes easier and brands can derive this deeper insight and answer questions that they may not have been able to answer before or may have been very difficult to answer. So let me give you a few examples. So examples of questions that you can answer with hybrid marketing include things like, how can I encourage digital behavior that might mimic past in-store behavior, right? How do digital properties encourage or detract from the conversion opportunities that I see uh, presented to my brand. Are certain behaviors that are being displayed consistently across digital customer visits um, you know, very positive or are they very negative? Are there issues there that I need to address? So you can answer questions uh, like these with hybrid marketing and this results in 
better targeting and personalization. So that's the second challenge, targeting and personalization. And then finally, managing customer journeys across channels or points in time naturally becomes easier with insight from every marketing channel, not just your uh, direct marketing channels and not just your digital marketing channels and not using both of them separately. If I'm merging data, I can then create journeys that merge, you know, all of these channels together, uh, both inbound and outbound. I can use real time and batch data. I can ingest analytical and machine learning based model scores, and I can integrate with adjacent applications to augment or improve these customer interactions. So journeys no longer become limited by the channels and the data that they can source with hybrid marketing in place. And to make it more concrete for the audience, can you give an example how you deploy such a concept? Yeah, absolutely. So getting started with hybrid marketing really requires you to look at a few things. So the first thing I would I would encourage you to do, excuse me, is to assess where your limitations lie, particularly from a data perspective. You know, are your data access and your data management and your data quality uh, processes sound? Are you collecting the data that you would like to collect? Is, is there data that you look at and say, wow, I wish I could collect that more fully. And I wish that I can incorporate that into my marketing programs and activities. Uh, if that's the case, you need to uh, definitely account for that. Uh, secondly, I would encourage you to seek help along the way, right? This can be very challenging, bringing all of this together and trying to use it for marketing purposes. You know, find the marketing technology providers that meet your needs and, and work with them to determine what software solutions and processes will work best for you. So, you know, SaaS, one of the things we've recently done is we've introduced new global value-based services offerings that help marketers not only create these hybrid customer data profiles, which is certainly the first step, but then perform insight, attribution, and activation uh, value-based use cases with those hybrid profiles. So, you know, an example of how this is being used today, right? Customers today are using hybrid marketing from SaaS to perform, uh, you know, a variety of different activities. They are uh, ranging from simple digital channel attribution to web content and offer personalization to creating more advanced cross-channel personalized journeys that interact with customers as they traverse mediums, channels, and points in time. So this is how you would get started with hybrid marketing model. Yeah, once you have the data, the opportunities and the possibilities are almost endless. Jonathan, thanks again for joining our show and sharing your hybrid marketing insights and learnings. And for the audience, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.